Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'll be showing you how to test your ignition coil. All right, so today I'll be showing you how to test an ignition coil. Now, when it comes to troubleshooting the electrical in your bike, if you're suspecting that you're having a problem with the ignition, there's many places to start, but one in particular that will help you out a lot is knowing how to test your ignition coil. Now, the method that we'll show you here today is very general and very basic, so when it comes to working on your bike, always be sure to reference your service menu for that specific information. Now when it comes to doing any sort of electrical troubleshooting or testing of electrical components on your bike, you're definitely going to want to pick up a digital multimeter. Now you can find these at your local hardware store and they can range anywhere from about $5 to several hundred of dollars. You don't need a real expensive one, you'll just need one that can measure in volts AC, volts DC, and ohms. All right, now to begin your electrical testing or troubleshooting, you'll want to locate and identify the component that you're wanting to test and then you need to isolate and de-energize it, meaning you want to disconnect it from the wire harness and then remove it from the bike. Now here you can see that we've got a few different types of ignition coils. Now they all operate under the same principles and they can all be tested the same way. Now there's slightly different variations from coil to coil depending on the demands of the bike's electrical needs, thus will indicate the design of the ignition coil. Now on this ignition coil, we've got a primary side, secondary side, and on the secondary side we have two ignition coil leads. On this one here, we have one ignition coil lead. Now when it comes to testing these, for instance, on this one here, we're gonna take our multimeter, we're gonna place it into the ohms position, then we'll take our positive and negative leads, and we will attach them to the primary side. Now these are not polarity sensitive, so you can have your positive on one, negative on the other, you can switch them around and you'll still get the same reading. Now, a standard ohms resistance reading on the primary side of an ignition coil can range anywhere from 0.2 ohms all the way up to five. Now again, that's, that's quite a wide range, so be sure to reference your machine's specific service manual for that information. So that's our primary side test. We'll do lead to lead. Now to test the secondary side of the coil, because this one is a dual lead, we're going to take our test leads here, and we're going to place them into each one of the spark plug caps. Now, as you can see, we have quite a high amount of resistance. Right there, we are reading 16.59 K ohms. Now, the reason why we have such a high amount of ohms is the spark plug cap. The spark plug cap can add anywhere from 5 K ohms to 10 K ohms to the resistance reading. Now, on this type of ignition coil, uh, to measure the primary side, we're gonna place one of our leads on the input for power and then we'll place one of our other leads right here on the body that's the metal part, and this is our negative side. This is what grounds the ignition coil. Now here you can see that we're reading 0.4 ohms. Now if we go to take a secondary coil reading, we're gonna take our multimeter lead, we're gonna plug it in to the secondary side so that it's touching the wire, and we'll take our other lead, place it onto the primary side, and here you can see that we're reading 2.785 kilo ohms. Now if we were to add the spark plug cap, now once we add the ignition coils spark plug cap, we take our secondary test reading, it's going to add quite a bit of resistance. So now we're at 12.86 K ohms, which is quite a bit. All right, now this type of ignition coil is measured the same way as the others. We've got our primary side. We'll take our measurement, place our positive and negative leads onto the posts, and right here we're measuring about 0.4 ohms. Now this is different, it's got a positive and negative input on the primary side of the ignition coil, but it only has a single output on the secondary side. Now again, we, we test it the same exact way. We'll plug our lead into the secondary side, and then we put our other lead on the primary side. And right here we're measuring 1.7 to 1.9 kilo ohms. Now you can measure off either one of the primary side inputs and you should get the same reading. Now again, when we plug in or add the spark plug cap, it will increase the resistance by about 5 K ohms to 10 K ohms. So right there we added about another 5 K ohms. Now back to the first ignition coil that we tested, if we were to take our secondary side and measure to our primary side, we're not gonna get any sort of resistance. 
Now this doesn't mean that the ignition coil is bad, it just means that it's tested in a different way. So again, be sure to reference your service manual for those specific procedures. Now on this ignition coil here, this is what I like to call a stick coil. Now it's the same concept, it has all the same components as these here, it's just a slightly different design. Now on this one, we have a primary side and a secondary side. And again, it's measured the exact same way. So we'll take our multimeter leads, We'll place one on each of the prongs at the connector. And again, we can take our measurement. And to measure the secondary side of the ignition coil, we'll measure it just like the others. All right, now if you're taking a measurement on the primary side or secondary side of your ignition coil, and your multimeter reads OL, that means you have an open line or a break in the wire. Now, if you have that, you'll want to double check your connections to make sure that you're testing it the correct way. And if you are connected to the component that you're testing the way that the service manual states that you need to be, and you have the OL sign, there may be something wrong with the component that you're testing and it might need to be replaced. All right, and that's how you test your ignition coil. Now, if you have any questions or concerns as to what we've done here today, feel free to leave us a comment below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and top fives. And see our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com where we have the largest selection of parts, apparel, and accessories for your motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching and keep turning those wrenches.